A great addition to your shop or garage is the shaft extension. And this is not what you might think it is. It actually goes on the end of a buffing machine or a bench grinder and gives you an extra three and a half inches to work with as you're buffing your parts. So we're gonna start with the bench grinder here and basically convert this into a buffing machine with this extension. Let's show you how it works. First thing we'll need to do is pull the guards off the machine. And this will give us access to the shaft and the nut. Most bench grinders will have a guard similar to this. We need to take that off as well. And loosen up the nut so we can pull the grinding wheel off the machine. And then if you want the most clearance possible, take this shield off as well. So I'll show you what this would look like if we didn't install the extension. I'm gonna mount a thinner cleaning wheel on here. You can see there's not a lot of room between the motor and the wheel. So if we were to start buffing parts, you can see as we're trying to maneuver the part around, we're bumping into the motor here. Now, before you mount the extension, you wanna look for any burrs on the shaft here that could hang it up. Or if it's just rusty like this, spin it up. Take some scotch bright to it. Now installing the extension is as easy as just sliding it on. Make sure it goes all the way on. If it is not going all the way on, you can just tap it with a rubber mallet. And we're gonna install some Loctite onto these set screws. Just gonna go finger tight for now. Now we're gonna tighten the set screws in an even fashion. Tighten one, spin at 180, tighten the next, spin at 270, and then 180. Before we mount a wheel, I'm gonna spin the motor up. Looks like it is spinning pretty straight. Let's mount a wheel and see if there's any vibration. That is spinning nice and smooth. You can see the motor isn't walking on the concrete there. I'm gonna mount this cleaning wheel here and show you the difference the extender makes compared to when we had this wheel mounted just on the machine shaft. Now you can see with this extender, it's no problem getting in the tighter areas. You can maneuver the part all around, not hitting the machine at all. It's a super nice addition to any machine here. I'm gonna pull the shaft off of this bench grinder and mount it onto the buffer here. Sometimes machines can have a little different sizing on their shaft here. So kind of show you what it might look like on here. You can see this one has more wobble. It is just a different tolerance. You know, each manufacturer might have slightly different shaft size. So we are actually gonna have to apply some Teflon tape to these threads here to help eat up that wobble, because that's gonna be an issue once we spin up the machine. I'm just gonna start wrapping around the threads here. We want this extender to be nice and tight on there. Need to go a little bit more than that. You want it snug, so where you have to kinda work it over that tape. Make sure the shaft's all the way on and tighten the set screws in the same procedure. Now with that Teflon tape, it is nice and tight on the shaft. Let's go ahead and spin it up. I'm gonna mount a heavier wheel on here, this flap wheel, and see if there's any vibration. Nice and smooth, it's not walking on the concrete at all. That's usually your first indication when the whole thing starts shaking. Let's put this cleaning wheel on and we'll be able to see how much space we have to buff with. You can see we have tons of room here to maneuver a part around. Basically whatever angle you need to, you can get in all these areas. So whether you've got a bench grinder or a buffing machine, this extension is a really nice addition. And sometimes it, it's even better to use an older bench grinder like this one. This is probably 20 to 30 years old. It's a balder. 
And so I would honestly rather throw an extension on an older machine that has a lot higher quality motor than a Chinese uh, buffer like this. Now, before you buy an extender, you want to measure the diameter of your machine shaft. Take a tape measure. You can see this one right about half inch. More accurate way to do it is with a set of calipers here. Yep, half inch. Another thing to consider when you're sizing up an extension for your machine is whether you want it on the right or left side. It uses a different direction thread. Left side has a left hand thread, right side has a right hand thread, just so that way the nut will actually stay on while you're buffing. Now with this extender, you can use cleaning wheels such as this one here or flap wheels. So this will work for sanding out scratches and gouges, even polishing wheels. This one is for plastic, this one's for metals or you could just mount a grinding wheel back on it. So all sorts of different options here. All right, so that is all about the extension. Add some nice versatility to your machine. Now, if you have any questions about the extension, just shoot us a message or drop a comment down below on this video and I'd be happy to help you out.